So on today's little uh, adventures in Vast Motorsports, I went yesterday and picked up a Anderson Hitch that you can see in the back of my truck bed here. And this is a fifth wheel to gooseneck conversion hitch because I went and bought a 34 foot um, RV camper. And so me being the cheap and uh, kind of poor, you know, I live a good lifestyle, but I definitely don't have a lot of money. That's for damn sure. I don't make a lot of money. I don't live with a lot of money. I'm just a deal finder. So anyway, these are around a thousand or so new. This one looks like looks like brand new. I think it was used one time. He said to bring his camper home from uh, Camping World. So I give him four hundred dollars for it, and it's a hell of a nice deal. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and pop my bed liner out because I do have a gooseneck ball, the flip down style. It's under my bed liner. I put the bed liner in because I had it out of my other truck, but um, just because I haul my Harley in the back of the bed too. Sometimes I pull my boat to Florida and I take the Harley with me in the back of the truck here. That's what I like about having the dually is it's a long bed and uh, I can shut the tailgate and all with the Harley in the back. So I really didn't want a big, nasty fifth wheel hitch. And, and even though you could take them out, some of them, I didn't want the rails going across my bed here because it might mess with me when I'm putting a bike in and stuff like that. I could cut a hole right there in the middle for my pop-up gooseneck ball, but I don't want the hole and have it where uh, leaves and debris and all are getting underneath the, uh, the actual bed liner there because I don't want it rotting my bed out. So anyway... I'm going to go ahead and pop the bed liner out. It only takes a couple minutes and go ahead and get this thing set up. Let's see how she works. All right, so it appears it was just kind of stuck. There she goes. Okay. So... I have my gooseneck ball up. So now it's time to get the uh, Anderson hitch ready. So I'm gonna take and unlock the cable here and release this so I can take the coupler off. This goes on the fifth wheel assembly on the camper. Well, one nice thing about the Anderson hitch is, ta-da! It's aluminum. It's going to go in like that. Where it's the ball is to the back of the bed because this is going to go over the new, the, I mean the actual gooseneck ball. Now, let's see. Do go pull the pin here. Take this one out. Slide it up here. Let it fall over the gooseneck ball. And you see if the pin will go through. If not, I'll have to undo this top bolt a little more to let this sleeve come down far enough. Is not enough might have to go get a socket so I went and grabbed a 15 16 in my torque wrench and I'm gonna unscrew this one until this drops down far enough that I can slide the pin in around the ball and lock it This is hard to do when I'm trying to do it all one-handed, but there we go. We got it through. Now I stick the pin back through, the safety pin, lock pin, whatever. All right, now she's locked. So what this is going to do, it's going to tighten, uh, as I tighten this down, it's going to pull this up and lock against that ball so where it cannot come off. So. All right, yeah, that's already snug. 
and it's pulling this whole assembly down at the same time. So now I'm going to set my torque wrench to 60, torque this one real quick, and then come back and lock these two at 40. Oh yeah. I can hear it pulling the whole assembly down against the bed. That's, that's what I was hoping. I didn't know if I was going to have to stand on it or something to try to... I knew this was going to lock it against the ball, but I didn't know it was pushing against the bed too. There we are at 60. Now I dropped the wrench to 40. It's time to hit these. Make sure these torque down. The assembly is pretty well straight in the bed before I torqued that middle bolt down and locked it. And that's it. Anderson hitch installed in the bed of my truck on the gooseneck ball. That is sweet. Now I do have a pin here I can remove and the ball has three different holes and you can adjust your height. You know, it gives you a few inches actually there. I'm not sure yet. It's up almost at the bottom of the bed rails here. So I think I'm pretty good like that. We'll wait until we get to the RV and hook up the other, the red coupler on the kingpin of the hitch and see what we got. So now I got my piece here. What this does, I'm going to stick it up on the uh, kingpin like that. Stick the two big bolts through. Put the cable back in, and uh, I'll be able to lock it. With, this will go over the gooseneck ball, of course, over here, my new one. So, got my bolts in, now I'm coming back with my, uh, I think it's quarter inch. And I gotta snug these four down here to get them at 40 foot pound. So I got everything installed here. I didn't actually mount my cable yet. You can like pull it over on the other side and just shoot a screw or two or I could even use them probably or something but uh I'm not mounting it right now I'm just worried about getting the camper to my house so where I can go ahead and start cleaning it and working on whatever I find that needs to be fixed but uh so far so good all right doing a quick check of the lights before we hit the road and they're working Woo! tell you what this was one hell of a deal thank you Carl if you are watching this video or ever see it you really made, made me and Rebecca's day with this one boy. nice tires and wheels like 2016 that. tires with no dry rot brand new tread looking like Woo! this is one hell of a camper here boy. And I'm getting to try out my new hitch, the new Anderson hitch. So that's what she looks like all set up and hooked up. What I'm going to do is when I get home, I am going to turn this around 180 degrees. So it'll bring the trailer up over the ball or in this area because having a long bed truck, I got more than enough room here between the cab when I'm turning, I can tell. So I'll move that, get the camper forward a little bit more. What do you think, Dad? You've got to deal with life to me, that's right. <laughs> Tell you why it's going to look sharp when you it's clean. The it. shoe's going to be sharp. All right, so we're hooked up. Got the little piece of deck in the back. I was wondering, do you know if... It goes around, but it's set? harder. Yeah, I tried it with the boat trailer oh, the other harder? night. So we've got to go out through these trees here. Going to be a little tight for my first toe on a camper. <laughs> 